Hi, welcome to a part for you video tutorials. This video tutorial is on how to change a washing machine heating element can be used on Ariston, Creda, Hotpoint and Indeset. It will also help you change heating elements in other makes of machine. For safety purposes, please make sure the appliance is disconnected from the electricity and all work should be done by a qualified engineer. We are filming this machine with the tub out of the washing machine for ease of video purpose and to make sure you get a good view of what's being done. Right, the first thing that needs to be done is the nut in the center of the heating element needs to be undone. Do not remove the nut completely off the thread as this will help you push the retention plate at the back of the tub through to release the pressure off the seal. As you can see me doing here, just pushing the nut down. Next, with a flat bladed screwdriver, you need to prise the element up to pull the seal through the actual tub. Now remember, when doing this, do not apply too much pressure as you can crack the tub. Some are quite hard to get out. As you can see here, the retention plate on the back, which pressurizes the seal, and you can see the crease on the seal, which makes the gasket on the machine. Now what I'll show you is the guard bracket on the end of the heating element fits under a couple of lugs, which holds it in place. This is a new heating element ready to be fitted. Remember you can purchase these heating elements from our website. They're not usually too expensive, around the 20 to 30 pound mark for most. All you have to do is put your model number into our search bar at the top and it will give you a full list of parts that are available at apartforyou.co.uk. Now when fitting a new seal, a small amount of fairy liquid will help the new seal slide into place. Just sl Smear this around the actual seal. Push the heating element into place. And with a flat blade screwdriver, not a sharp one, you can slowly edge the seal into the hole. Make sure when you're applying pressure that you're not pinching the seal. It's usually good to start at one end and work your way up. And there you go. The next thing we have to do is to do the nut up in the middle. Take it to hand tight and then I usually give it quarter to half a turn, no more. Once this is fully assembled, you just need to put some water in the tub to check for leaks and there you go. Thanks very much for watching this video. We hope you found it informative and helpful. Remember to shop at Apart For You as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you. Thanks again for watching.